I'll give you a personal story. And this is one that for some of my friends, they've heard multiple times, but one of my best friends in college, he lived in the same dorm, uh, same actual, uh, fourplex as me. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was a teaching major, an education major. And we told him about our idea, myself and my business partner at that point in time, Chris, one of my best friends still to this day, we told him we have this business idea. And we're 19-year-old college kids. We're about as broke as can possibly be. We said, hey, we're going to start a live entertainment company, and we're going to bring in real acts to the greater Ashland area. Ashland was a dull little town, wasn't much going on. So if you're a college kid, 20, 21, 22, there's really not that much to do other than, let's be real, go and drink as much as you can. Sure. (laughs) So we said this, and his immediate reaction was, I like that idea, but you're not using your own money, right? And we said, well, no one else is certainly going to give us any money. That's for sure. And he said, I just, I would not do that. I think you're throwing your money away. Because we were talking about putting about, you know, laughable numbers at this point in time, 1000 to $2,000 yeah. into beats. Um, And he said, I I think you're just throwing that money down the drain. I don't think that you guys should go about this. And we said, well, you know, we're both in the entrepreneurship major Mm -hmm. at the university. And when you are in that major, the expectation is you go on and you do something in the business world, preferably start your own business. Mm -hmm. When you graduate, you're going to go and be a teacher. There's going to be something waiting for you. There's not necessarily going to be something waiting for us other than opportunity. So we're going to do this thing. And we appreciate your feedback, but we're still going to do it. So we throw this first event. Um, we bring in a DJ. DJ is about $1,500. We take $500. We build a stage literally with our hands. I don't mm-hmm. want to take too much credit because I'm not as handy <laughs> as my friend who's a farmer who right. built the stage. He brings it in with us. You know, we put this together and then sure enough, we get about 500 people, which was like 200 people over the capacity of this needed, venue. Right. And, what, and what you needed to break even. And we pull about $5,000. So we're like almost three grand into the profit, yeah. which is amazing for us. Hell yeah. And our buddy, he's probably had a couple too many drinks at this point in time, but he grabs me on the right, grabs my business partner, Chris, on the left, and he goes, I want in on this thing, man. <laughs> you guys have, you know, figured this out. <laughs> and he did help us, mm-hmm. but... Uh, we go, hey man, I, you missed your opportunity. Right. You know that you had the chance to support us previously, but you didn't see the vision. 